I mean, they've both got great challenges, and that's what makes the job really, really good. Um, I think working one to one, you, you, you've got to know the individual. You get to know their personality, their characteristics, what makes them tick a little bit. Um, some days, it's you know, you, you've got to get them up for the session um, because there's not other people there to motivate them. So you've kind of got to be the, the thermostat for the session. Um, so that's that's what's great about working one to one is you really get to know a person and you and you get to know the athlete better, and you can also specifically drill down on the detail that that athlete needs to improve performance. Working with groups is a completely different dynamic as you can probably expect, um, but again, it, it brings its own upsides and downsides, you know, the challenge of managing lots of different people, trying to make every single one of those th those athletes within the group better at the same time, but still managing logistics of, of lots of people in the same room or the same weight room. So, you know, working one-to-one -one or working with a group both uh, presents its upsides and its downs.